today I'm doing my very first empties video. Pretty much this is just a whole bunch of products that I've saved over the course of a few months because it takes me a long time to go through products. So I just recently discovered that everyone was doing this sort of video and most of those videos don't always interest me but this one really did. I love watching other people's empties videos so I thought hmm maybe I should try it. So leave a comment down below if you enjoy this video and you want me to do more empties. I will try to slowly accumulate them. Alright, so I have a huge, huge bag of stuff here that is overflowing. And I am using my Juicy Couture bag that I got my um, Lala Couture perfume for Christmas. I thought, well, I'm going to keep this bag and use it for my empties. Well, the first one on top here is a uh, Dove Hair Therapy Nourishing Oil Care Spray. And it's a detangler spray. I love this stuff so much. I used every single drop. Here it helps with my tangles because sometimes my hair gets tangly after I get out of the shower. Love this stuff. It's only around three bucks. So affordable. You can pick it up anywhere. And this, I have had this for years. And thank God I finished it up because this spray dried my hair like crazy. This is the Pantene Fine Hairstyle Lasting Volume All Day Hold blah blah blah. That's what it looks like. So glad to throw that away. Oh, the Garnier Nutrice Triple Nutrition 3 Minute Undo Dryness Reversal Treatment Mask. Whew, that is a mouthful really did like this stuff. It smells amazing. I have to say if your hair is extremely, extremely damaged, like from bleach and stuff like mine has been, you know, it, it's not going to do the greatest. But if your hair isn't that damaged, this is a really great quick mask, kind of similar to the Aussie stuff. Okay, so next we have here is a Renewing Moroccan Argan Oil Deep Moisturizing Hair Treatment. And this is from the brand Organics. And this stuff, let me tell you, is amazing. I used every last drop of this and I just recently went out and repurchased another one because I just love it. This is probably my absolute favorite deep moisturizing hair mask. So I highly recommend this. I don't know if this was necessary, but I put this in here. This is the Skin to Mint Shave Gel in Flirty Mango. I don't know. It was an empty product, so... What can I say? It's shaving cream and it smells really good and I just really love it, so yeah. This was one of my favorite lotions and I'm so sad that I'm out of it. This is the Forever Sunshine from Bath & Body Works. Oh, more hair stuff. What do you know? <laughs> so this is another hair treatment mask and this is from L'Oreal Paris. Ooh, I remember this. I got this on sale a while back, but this is the Ever Strong. It's sulfate free, so I highly recommend this if you have color treated hair. Um, I absolutely love this stuff. It smells great. This is the green one. It's the Deep Replenishing Mask. It's supposed to strengthen and intensely repairs bio made up complex. I don't know. But smells amazing. It's completely gone. You all know this is my favorite and it's empty and I have like two backups of this because I love it so much. The Aussie 3 Minute Miracle. Love that stuff. This is the Simple Brand Sensitive Skin. It's a hydrating light moisturizer. And it looks like that. I use this every night before I go to bed. It's a really great for sensitive skin and it's just really amazing. I love this lotion. Um, I used up a whole pack of beauty sponges. And they're the little, you know, the wedge kind. And it was a pack of 32. <laughs> oh, oh, I really miss this lotion. This is from the brand called Earth Therapeutics. And this is a hand remedy protective conditioner. It's got shea butter, oatmeal, alpha hydroxy fruit acid complex and this is just like a hand cream I got this for free at Kohl's this is where I got it from I got it from Kohl's and I had a coupon in the mail for $10 so it was like a $10 gift card so when I went to Kohl's I walked around and I couldn't find anything that I really wanted and I seen this hand cream I picked it up and I fell in love with it so this I've had forever and I don't know do they still make this or not this is the John Frieda 
Brilliant Brunette Satin Shine Finishing Cream. And I love this stuff. I've used this so much. It is a great product, but I don't recommend it for very fine hair. Like, I have kind of thin hair. It does weigh your hair down, but it is very soft. It smells good. It makes your hair look shiny. So, love that stuff. I really did like that. That was a really good purchase. So, I have two makeup remover empty packages. This is the simple ones. I love these. These are really great. This is the original. These ones are actually from Meyer, and I actually really like these. I'm going to go back and get these when I run out. Uh, I do have some other ones that I'm trying to finish up right now, so when I run out of those, I'll go get some more of these. I really like this brand. It's called Elements. I have one from e.l.f. as well. The e.l.f. Makeup Remover Cleansing Cloth. I really like these too. I used up two packets of the lotion wipes from e.l.f. I absolutely love these. If you don't know, pick these up. They're just amazing. I have one in vanilla coconut that I used up and also one in milk and honey. Okay, so there's a few more things here at the bottom. I think these are like more makeup items. Yeah, so I went through a whole bottle of the e.l.f. brush cleaner. You can't even see the writing on it because it's completely empty. But I have one nail polish that I did go through and it's kind of goopy and it got all dried out. This isn't a nail polish, but it's sort of a nail treatment. This is from Nutri-Nail, and it's a thickener with green tea and antioxidants. And I really loved this stuff. I could not find it in the store. I was trying to do a repurchase, and I just I could not find it. And I ended up picking up a different one. But, uh, yeah, this was a really great product. And if I ever can find it in the stores again, I will repurchase it. So this is a proactive advanced blemish treatment and it's got um put that in the floor. It's got benzyl peroxide in it. And I used every last drop of this because this was kind of expensive. Uh, but it really does work. It's a really great spot treatment. I probably won't repurchase it because I have a new replacement for this that's a lot cheaper. So I have a couple of lip balm chapstick thingies here and this one is from Blistex and I'm so mad at myself because I just recently bought a new one and I accidentally put it in the washing machine and it got completely ruined. So I'm going to go out and buy another one but I love this stuff. This is my favorite chapstick. This is the five star one and it has SPF, yeah, it's got SPF 30 in it. This one, this is from e.l.f. and I don't hear anyone talking about these, but they're really cute. This is from the Essential line and they're just the one dollar lip balms and they come in a little plastic container. This one was the strawberry, strawberry cream. I have a lot of mascaras in here. So, I'm just going to pull out the rest of the stuff. I have one lip gloss that I actually finished, which hardly ever happens. Have you ever finished a lip gloss before? Because, I don't know, I find it impossible to completely finish it. But I did in this one. This is a CoverGirl Shine Blast. The number is 9328, if you're wondering. But it was just this really pretty baby pink sort of color. I don't know, I will definitely not repurchase this again because the glitter was kind of crunchy. Okay, so I do have one eyeliner that I actually went through. This was a wet and wild one and it was a waterproof. But, yeah, I went through that. So, that's a bye-bye product. I have quite a few mascaras and I probably will not throw these away. I have a really hard time throwing away um, mascara containers but these ones I definitely want to hold on to in case I want to repurchase them and I know exactly what they are. <laughs> so this one is Neutrogena. It's the Healthy Volume Mascara and this one's in brown and I just repurchased a new one in black but I really love this mascara. This has been my favorite for years. This one is from Rimmel London. I actually really love this mascara. I want to get another one. This is the Glam Eyes Mascara and the packaging, seriously, oh, look how cute this packaging is. So the other one that I went through, and I actually really did use this up, 
This is the Maybelline Illegal Length Waterproof Mascara, and I think, yeah, this one's in the blackest black. And I love this mascara. I didn't really like it for my upper lashes. It does give you a nice length, but volume-wise, not that much. But I love this for my lower eyelashes, and I definitely want to pick up another one. I hope they still make it. So last but not least, oh, one more mascara. I've had this for a long time, and I really need to just... This one I'm definitely going to throw out and I will not repurchase it just because it's kind of plain Jane and doesn't really do a whole lot for me. This is the Great Lash Mascara, the curved brush one from Maybelline. And the brush is just really, really blah. It's like the old-fashioned spiral and I hate the ones that from e.l.f. that have the same style too. doesn't do anything for me. Leave a comment down below if you want me to do like a hit and misses with like my favorite mascaras because they do have a lot of favorite and non-favorite mascaras so okay guys so that's my very first empties video i hope you guys enjoyed this thumbs up if you enjoyed please subscribe to my channel so you can keep up to date with all new videos and all that great stuff hop over to my facebook page guys because i always upload pictures and i love chatting with you and I don't know, it's just fun. I love it over there. I'll see you next time, guys. Remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye. See you next time.